For days, a 40-mile military convoy had stalled outside Kyiv. But images taken in the last 24 hours suggest Russian troops have reorganized. U.S. satellite company Maxar says vehicles appear to have dispersed and redeployed, with towed artillery now in firing positions nearby. It comes as a senior U.S. defense official said Russian troops have advanced on the capital, while the information war escalates over whether a chemical weapons attack is being planned. No chemical or any other weapons of mass destruction were developed on my land. The whole world knows that. You know that. And if you do something like that against us, you will get the most severe sanctions response. The scenes of a bombed maternity hospital in Mariupol suggest there are no boundaries to Russia's barbarism. The concern now is a chemical attack. Russia has called a meeting of the UN Security Council later to discuss unsubstantiated claims Ukraine is housing biological weapons. But the US has warned this is a ploy by Russia to create a pretext to deploy such weapons itself. With no desire for NATO military involvement, it seems the West's warnings about red lines fall largely on deaf ears in Moscow. There is strong evidence that we are seeing war crimes taking place and we need to take that evidence and record that evidence. We are working uh, to collate the evidence on the ground of what is happening to make sure that Putin and his associates are held to account for these appalling actions. The question is how to stop this now. Ukrainians grieving their loved ones and life as they knew it. Police Sergeant Roman Rashishin buried by his wife and three young children to the sound of defiant song. But in some of the worst bombed areas, there's no dignity of a funeral and no way to escape this fighting. Sally Lockwood, Sky News.